are devout believers donating more than $70,000 to a suburban megachurch. But now, years later, they're demanding a refund, disgusted by what they've learned. To investigator Dorothy Tucker has this unholy fight over funds. You believe that what is being done is impacting the eternity of people. Their strong Christian belief Exodus. led Scott Thompson and his wife Marcia to volunteer at Harvest Bible Chapel and over the course of several years donate a lot. North of $72,000. Now they want it back. When you find out that the pastor's, you know, living in a $2 million house. The pastor was James McDonald fired from the mega church in February for conduct harmful to the best interests of the church. You open up the book and you find the article. And but you Thompson see started questioning the pastor's spending in 2006 when he saw McDonald's home in Inverness featured in Chicago Magazine. You drive over there and sure enough, there's the house that's in the picture from the magazine article. Yep, that's the house on a private lake. McDonald's lavish lifestyle drove Thompson to leave the church. McDonald no longer owns the house. Thompson walked away from Harvest in 2013. That was six years ago. So why is he going public now? All this is coming out that millions of dollars potentially has been mishandled. There are online articles with damning headlines, blogs listing a litany of accusations against McDonald, church video. This week, the elders received a letter with 13 accusations against our pastor. Then the bombshell. Radio host Mancow plays an audio tape where McDonald clearly had no clue his mic was hot. The plan to uh, put child porn on a uh, computer. When you heard the tapes. <laughs> Sick. Depraved. A pastor, no less. He's already been fired. So what do you want to see the church Forensic do. audit. I'll check with uh, some of the executive okay. staff. Harvest church leaders wouldn't talk on camera, but an update released just last week reveals an investigation is underway. If they find something, Thompson wants McDonald to repay the money. I want to see some justice. The last we heard, McDonald was in Florida, and we could not reach him by phone. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. And church elders are in the process of looking for a new pastor.